So here you are 12 years after Tesh was first introduced, and the appetite and the excitement and the energy for the release of Furious 7 is beyond compare. For you as an actor, is that inspiring and, and motivating and, and just plain exciting? What was that? What was that? I didn't hear it. I couldn't, I couldn't oh. hear it. Just the idea that the appetite for this movie oh. after all these years from right. first meeting Tej yeah. in Too Fast, it's crazy how excited people are. So for you as an actor, is that motivating and inspirational and just fun? Man, it's definitely fun and extremely inspirational because when we first started, we had no idea it would be this huge. But again, man, the fans are the ones buying the tickets and they are the ones driving everything, this entire franchise since day one. So I'm just proud and humbled to be a part of it. What, um, what's it been like for you over these years watching Tej's arc? Every movie, his character, the character opens up and we learn a little bit more and he does a little <laughs> bit more. It's great because, you know, it never ceases to amaze people that, you know, they, they think they know everything about me and next thing they know I have a whole new skill set. So I love it. You can talk a little bit about the, the fight scene. You finally get your moment. Yeah, I finally get a little bit of the action. You know, I was practicing this uh, martial arts called 52 Blocks for a while. And that's the martial arts that's seen on camera with me having to whoop a little ass. So there you have it. Did you enjoy working with Jeff Amata on that? Uh, I actually worked with a guy named Diallo Frazier, and Jeff Amata kind of oversaw it. But it was definitely great, you know, being able to do that in the film because I just always want to add something new to the franchise as much as I can possibly. Um, it's not a question of bigger is necessarily better, but the scope and the size of this film is enormous. Can you talk about that? The size and the scope of this, of this film is definitely bigger and better because we continue to add more characters and, and more you know, arcs and more action and everything to this franchise. And again, it's because the fans have supported. So it's almost like we keep reinvesting in ourselves. Having the addition of Jason Statham, Kurt Russell, and Natalie Emanuel, what did that bring? It was great because, again, you know, you start introducing characters that people can still live vicariously through and relate to, and it just adds even more of an interesting appeal to what we already have because you never know what's going to happen. You have people dying. You have some people coming back, and they didn't actually die. And then you bring new characters in, and you don't know who's on what side, so it just plays for a very interesting uh, story. Of all of the places Furious 7 could have gone, why, in your opinion, was Abu Dhabi the right one? Abu Dhabi was the right one because what better place to have more supercars and more money and, and just great culture when it comes to drag racing in the open desert, period. And how were you received there? We were, man, they loved us there. They, you know, they welcomed us with open arms and they even think contributed to some of the film just because they were so happy that we were there. So, you know, it's almost like the tourism is going to skyrocket from this film.